This is important. Your privacy and free speech is directly at risk. Yesterday, the DOJ announced the indictment of the Tornado Cash developers. If you don't know what Tornado Cash is, it is a mixing service for crypto assets. The reason why we want to mix our crypto assets is because we don't want to be tracked in some cases, and we do want to be able to have access to privacy. If you're brand new to the O Show, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and set alerts because this information is very important. If they continue to infringe on in our technology, this could be bad long term for other areas. This is how case law is formed. And the reason why case law is so important, if we take a look at the XRP case, excuse me, Ripple versus SEC, we can see that Ripple was not indicated to be a security on the secondary market. And the reason why this is important is this case law could be used in other cases in crypto. You get it? Okay, so there was a law that was passed back in the dot com that indicated that code is free speech. Okay, code is simply a way for us to create brand new things. And that's exactly what Tornado Cash is. It's code. Just because the developers created something and someone bad used it for bad things doesn't mean that they are guilty. And when we're talking about code, code, a lot of times code is open source and you can use it for different things. And the reason why privacy is so important, especially in crypto, for example, if I'm a DV survivor and I have somebody who has done bad things to me in the past and I want to remain private, I don't want them to track where I'm going, I don't want them to know that I go to place X at 1 p.m. every Wednesday, that's important. And for other things too, like you just don't want to know, you don't want people to know your personal business, et cetera. I mean, and I understand the bad part of this, okay? Some people want to use it for tax evasion and to hide things and the whole AML thing. So that, ah, sorry, you guys, my phone. I'm also on my way to the airport right now to go to where you Denver. But anyways, uh, but you don't want people to necessarily track you. And I get the bad aspect when people are doing bad things and they make, Bad actors make good actors look bad, so we don't like that. But at the end of the day, the reason why this case is so important is because there's direct conflicts of interest with the regular law. Let's talk about that. In this article from Queen Center, the indictment provides multiple factual allegations describing activities the defendants support. The facts point to the defendants fitting well within FinCEN's guidance or anonymizing software providers rather than being money transmitters. And the indictment does actually claim that they engaged in the business of transferring funds on the behalf of public without registering with FinCEN, okay? But the FinCEN guideline said, anyone that uses the software to anonymize a person's own transactions will either be a user or money transmitter, depending on the purpose of each transaction. FinCEN guidance says that neither software provider nor the user is a money transmitter who needs to register with them. So you see how this is a direct conflict of the real law? This is where it gets problematic, is we have these public servant agencies coming out and saying, hey, you did something bad, but when they say you're doing something bad, it doesn't even fit their own narrative. It doesn't even fit the law that is put into place. And again, you guys, the reason why this is so problematic is if we continue to allow the public servants to directly overstep their bounds, they're going to continue to do things like this. And it's going to impact your privacy. It's going to impact your liberty and it's going to impact your self-sovereignty. And the reason why they're going after people's privacy is because of that CBDC, which none of us even want, need, etc. So what I'm asking you to do is watch this video. I want you to share it and I want you to drop me a comment. And let me know if you agree with FinCEN's decision to go after the Tornado Cash developers for creating code, for creating software, for essentially creating technology and some sort of speech. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.